this week has been my best RuneScape week ever. And this isn't me over-exaggerating. Like, as, a, as an encompassing of 15 years of playing this game, I don't think I've had a better week in terms of gains, in terms of drops, in terms of just, like, having a blast playing this game. So I'm really, really excited because this week is huge in two different ways. Number one, we are getting a lot of quests done because I have been putting off quests, but it was for this week specifically. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, is the week that we unlocked River of Blood as well as continue working our way to the Rift requirements. We only have a few left and hopefully we'll be able to nail those out next week. And number two, in a week and a half, this account has officially reached six months. I personally was not thinking I was gonna burn out. It's still an accomplishment to make it this far and to still have a lot of passionate drive for this. But without much further ado, I just wanted to say that in a week and a half, I will be releasing a standalone video, just a half year progress video. So stay tuned for that. I'm very, very excited for it. But enough chit chat. Let's hop right into the video. All right. So the first big check of this week is we are going to be working towards River of Blood. Now, I literally haven't done any quests. Um, and I, I keep saying this, that I'm saving quests for when I want to do them. Uh, hence, vis-a-vis, -vis, we're going to be doing a lot of quests in here. So we're going to start off with Ghost Ahoy, and we need to unlock Legends quest. I haven't done that quest in a hot minute, but uh, there's a lot of little requirements for it, so we're just knocking some quests out of the way here. You can't actually get uh, what we need from the same villager over and over again, but if we have two standing side by side, uh, we can finish this part of the quest in like 30 seconds, absolutely killing it. Ghost Ahoy complete, and now I can actually start doing farming runs in Mauritania instead of teleporting to Canifus every time. Small pain to do this quest, figured I'd get out of the way. Ruin mechanics complete. I feel like this is one of the first quests you complete in old school instead of being freaking 2200, but Scorpion capture complete. All right, with King's Ransom, we are going to unlock Piety, which is going to be really nice. Uh, there's a lot of free XP as well with doing this mini quest and uh, hopefully it will be easy. 120,000 experience gained, which is really nice, and a little range level at 82 ranged. Weird double daily, uh, but we got 81 smithing and 61 rune crafting at the same time. Very, very nice. Been doing just a little bit of AFK fishing while doing some editing, and our scripture of Bic has been a huge MVP. Uh, we've been getting clues like crazy, so I'm very, very excited for that. But this is our invention level 56. Very nice. Slowly getting up there. Um, can't wait to actually start using invention in combat. Uh, it's definitely a lot faster. Friendly reminder to do your jack of trades because 70 agility, we are making progress. It's it's about one level every other day right now, um, but we're slowly creeping up towards that level 75. So very, very exciting. Evidently, I'm not terribly burnt out of crochets because here we are yet yeah, doing another few hours, uh, but a 13 mil chest. We love to see it. Cleaning out some of the daily challenges. I've been so bad about stacking at five and then doing like two or three and then letting it get stacked back up to five again. Uh, but thieving daily, 73 thieving. Finally deciding to augment my dragon hatchet. Uh, I've had this thing forever and I've had invention forever and I have not decided how to do it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting honed and we're going to be putting prosper on this guy because we are going to go to the big area and afk woodcut my goal with this is to farm out some troves and hopefully we'll get some passive experience with it and uh, we'll see how good the xp rates are i'm not too too hopeful but i've heard it's very afk this has been absolutely lovely um, we've been farming out a crazy amount of troves while just sitting here and uh, doing some editing but but uh, it's also really nice for the anima as well as getting the arrow tips from our Santa's Fire Torch. 100% highly would recommend. We're really starting to stack up these troves. I'm really excited to open them. I think I'm going to open them at like 400. I'll make a, I'll make a separate video for that though. AFKing so hard we missed the level, but 92 wood cutting halfway to 99. Nice. Another day, another jack of trades, 71 agility. Let's get it. Out here doing a little more crocious. Very, very nice. Fueling our scripture. 
helping out one of the clan's members, not Mirren, with his Hellweird task. It's actually been quite fun. Um, I guess he had never done any high-level bossing before, but that is a dormant anima core chest uh, drop, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't have any God Wards to stuff at all, uh, so that's kind of cool. Yes, I still do caches, even though it's very occasional, uh, but that is 84 Divination. Out here in the wilderness, training some prayer so you know it is a prayer daily, and that is 77 prayer, slowly working towards the 80 prayer that we will need for Vyres. All right, Adam, what do you got for me today? It's a Chinchampa. Okay, 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 okay. We have two Chinchampas. We have one female Viridian that we got in the last episode, and now we have a Crimson. Hopefully, that's a bit. Let's go! All right, we have officially unlocked a breeding pair of Chinchampas. That's going to drastically increase our farming experience, which I'm so, so excited for. And that allows us to start working towards making extreme invention potions. Decided to take a break from doing all the questing and instead doing some AFK and skilling. I have a whole bunch of bread arrows left over and we also have the scripture of Bic. Uh, so we are going to be doing some fletching here, but that is 82, 83, 84, 85. And to finish off the three hours, we have 86 fletching. One big thing that we did unlock was a magic shield bow. So super excited to make a those. We have a ton of logs from Crocious, uh, hopefully that I can get through. Just finishing up our smithing here, we have smithed quite a bit of steel and mithril bars and this is our calculation to complete 75 summoning now one thing that i'm really really excited for to try out is i have never used the menophos summoning obelisk and i know a lot of you are probably like wait there's an obelisk in menophos and that was my exact thought when someone told me that uh so let's hop over there and uh try it out casually drops 25 mil on summoning shards all right so if you're ignorant like me and didn't realize that there was a summoning obelisk in menophos it's up here in the northern corner uh, i have roofs on so it's kind of hard to see but this is going to be our running our route and i have to say this is definitely shorter than taverly so if you haven't unlocked Prif yet try out this method i personally think it is a great method to do summoning on Man, it is absolutely crazy how fast summoning is, but that took us like no time at all. 75 summoning, that is a prif wreck unlocked. Only two more to go. It is Saturday and we are streaming twitch.tv slash Ayak, by the way, and just doing some thieving. I don't know. I just felt like my thieving level was a little bit low. So uh, we managed to get quite a bit of thieving levels. And then, of course, we were also using the Bic book to attempt to try and farm out more clues. So cool little levels here safes are best content by the way 80 herb lore which is huge because that means that we now have all of the requirements for the vampire line of quests also going to need to get 76 fire making as well this is going to be a requirement for the river of blood um so that would be a nice one to get out of the way as well managed to get all the way up to 74 using the three hours that we had on the scripture of Bic. Uh, so we'll come finish back the rest. Legacy of Seer Gaze, let's get it complete. Now, one of the coolest things I have been exposed to recently is a little website called Iron Quest. Now, there's absolutely like no association or sponsorship here, by the way. I wouldn't be telling you about it unless it would be for the betterment of your experience in game. But honestly, I just think this is a great resource for both Ironmen as well as mains. Uh, recently, a friend showed this to me, and I just wanted to show it to you guys. While the wiki does have an optimal quest order, this website allows you not only to prioritize your skills you want to lamp, any quests you want to rush, but it also gives suggested and Ironman requirements for these quests, which can be a little bit harder to find when you're planning out your roadmap. I personally have been using it whenever I do one of these big quest grinds for about three months now, and it's definitely made my questing feel a lot more streamlined and efficient um, but anyways back to the video links in the description if you're interested classic completing the legends quest and getting the cram jahar diary done at the same time legends quest complete and 72 agility let's go such a big fan of this quest series 
even the puzzles are so so cool like i genuinely enjoy doing this puzzle branches of dark mirror complete level 70 farming and 73 agility quest xp is the best xp did not think that i would be coming back to e3 anytime soon but of course i do lack the combat skills that i need something for so pretty typical for this account uh if you remember back in like episode four we did about 10 hours of ed3 to pay for 99 construction while it's definitely not something that i enjoy to do we can tank for some lower level irons uh while we're gathering some stats here so we're going to be going for 76 attack and 75 strength uh and then hopefully we'll be able to get some nice dungeoneering xp working towards perf requirements for that 78 attack complete on to strength and there is 75 strength so we're gonna go finish off fire making uh, we need two more levels for that and then it is time to quest again and of course i missed the fire making level just finishing up lord of vampirium it is time for the boss fight uh hopefully this one is easy as branches of dark mirror however I'm not fully sure uh, because I have done these quests so, so long ago. So uh, let's uh, take a stab at it. Oof. Okay, finally. Pillar 1 complete. Uh, let's get on to the second one, but that was a struggle to get through. Oh, holy cow. Oh my god, that sucked. We just got slapped. Um, we're definitely gonna have to rethink our strategy on this because he both stuns us as well as combos us out as well as disables our prayers so uh, this one might be the toughest one we faced yet phase two complete it felt a lot easier than the first maybe i'm just improving but let's get on to the third phase and for the most gruesome runescape death scene worse than cutting off poor elvarg's head we have this vampire being absolutely sacrificed to the gods. What a freaking death to go out on. But that is Lord of Vampirium complete. Unfortunately, with Lord of Vampirium, like World Wakes, you can only lamp your skills over 75, which means that we can't use these lamps to boost agility. Fortunately for us, however, the only other thing that we want to lamp is herb lore, and we have that over 75, so that is 81 herb lore from lord of vampirium but lads it is time river of blood sun spear everything we've been working towards uh all the skilling all the prep it's finally happening i'm so so excited let's get started